Welcome back to How It's Made. Graphite is a space-age material, lightweight, flexible and strong. The very qualities that make it useful in space also come in handy at the river or lake. It explains why graphite fly rods are now mainstream in the fishing world. To make one, they start with a sheet of graphite. They cut out shapes following precise measurements. One mistake here and the performance of the rod will be compromised. This will be a three-piece rod with a butt piece, midsection and tip. They place a shape on a tapered steel mandrel and peel away the paper backing. This machine rolls the graphite shape around the mandrel. They make all three sections of the fishing rod the same way. A graphite strip at the end is used for reinforcement. The graphite remains on the mandrel for the next step. They wind polypropylene tape around the graphite to squeeze out any air pockets between the layers. Then it's into the oven to cook at 125 degrees Celsius for about an hour and a half. The tape won't melt, but resins in the graphite will, baking the rolled layers together. Afterwards, they remove the shrink tape and pull the graphite blank off the steel mandrel. Then the rod blanks go for a dip in a special finish, which turns it a deep blue. They bake on the finish for an hour and a half, again at 125 degrees Celsius. Afterwards, they measure the rod sections, cut them to size and fit them together. Bending without snapping is the graphite rod's strong point. They hot glue the stainless steel tip to the end. Then they piece together the retainer for the reel. This lock nut will allow the reel to be tightened. The butt plug will keep everything from sliding off. They glue cork rings together. They glue cork rings together to make a handle. Then they shape it with a chisel and sandpaper. The line guides go on next. To secure it to the rod, thread is wound around it. A final step ensures the handiwork doesn't unravel. They place the rod in a rotating jig and brush three coats of glossy epoxy onto the thread wrap. This not only protects it, but gives it a nice finish. Now, they slide a metal foot into a groove on the reel retainer, and it's ready for the reel to be attached. But before you can cast your line, there is some information that needs to go on the rod, like the brand name and the serial number. A final inspection, and it's almost time to test the waters. The reel snaps into place and it's easily adjusted with the lock nut. So now all that's left is to cast your bait 
sit back and wait, and leave the rest to fate. So, whether you're an avid angler looking to catch the best equipment, now you know how it's made. <laughs>